Hi people, welcome to my channel. UGC NET exam is right around the corner and I'm pretty sure that you all must be worried with a question. What will be the cutoff this time for your subject in UGC NET exam? And you must be wondering that why cutoff plays so much important role in preparing for any exam? It is because of two reasons. Number one, it is only by knowing the cutoff you can actually plan your preparation strategy. You will know what to study, how much to study, how to do that smart work which can yield you that particular score. And number two, it is only after knowing the cutoff when you give mock test and you get to a result, you know whether you are moving in the right direction or you would like to change the direction of your preparation. Because only after knowing the cutoff off, you will be able to aim for a particular score in mock test and you will feel super confident when you get a score past that defined score. So cut, cut off is important no matter how many people deny the importance of cut off. It is very important to know your target only then you will be able to hit it. So in this video I am going to share you with you a very very simple formula to determine the cut off for your subject in UGC net. So if you are interested watch this video till the end and also there's a surprise waiting for you at the end of the video so keep watching now in order to determine the cutoff you need to be very clear with these three factors the first factor what is your subject in UGC net number two which category do you belong so are you a reserved category student or an unreserved category student and number three what is your aim is your aim net or is your aim net and grf both now only by knowing these three things you can actually know what is that percentage which will be right for you and what will be the cutoff in your particular category so let's first understand the difference between net and grf because a lot of students are confused what is net and how is it different from grf let's assume that in a particular subject, say English, 200 students from all around India sit for this exam. Now, out of these 200 students, NTA is going to prepare a list according to the marks the students have received. So, the student who has received highest marks in English is going to be at the top of the list and the student receiving the lowest marks will be at the bottom of the list. Now, when this list is prepared, they are going to select 6% students out of 200. Very simple math, 6% of 200 is 12 students. So 12 students would be given net, whereas all the others would fail. So only top 12 students out of these 200 students are going to clear this exam. And now what is GRF? GRF is Junior Research Fellowship. The people who clear net with a slightly higher percentage, they are given a scholarship by Government of India in order to pursue their PhD. So out of these 12 students, another set of students are selected who would be given GRF. So top two students you can assume would be given GRF rest 12 would clear net and all others would fail so this is how the net and grf gap is bridged now coming on to the main question if you're clear with these three things and if you've noted down in a piece of paper let's dive right into the topic and find out the cutoff percentage for your subject in your category now let's first talk about the subject see there are broadly two groups of subject one are popular subjects and one are unpopular subjects. Popular subjects are the subjects in which a lot of students sit. For example, history, Paul science, English. These are some popular subjects. A lot of students give net in this subject. Now it's very simple. If a lot of students are going to give the net, then the passing percentage would be slightly lower because uh, a lot of students are giving net. So the percentage would be slightly lower. A lot of people are going to get net. Okay, if 1000 students are sitting for net, then 6% of 1000 would be greater than if 200 people are sitting for net. Okay, now in case of popular subjects, the cutoff would be somewhere around 50 to 60%. I have evaluated a list of popular subjects and their previous past year cutoffs and on the basis of that, I have come to a conclusion that somewhere around 50 to 60% is the cutoff of all the popular subjects. So just look 
into the matter and find out whether your subject comes in the popular category or the unpopular category because if you are the unlucky one who is coming under the unpopular category then you need to actually raise your bar a little higher because the passing percentage of unpopular subjects like Sanskrit, yoga, dance is somewhere around 70 to 80 percent. Okay, on one hand, we have unpopular subjects which are uh, having cutoff of 50 to 60 percent. On the other hand, we have unpopular subjects which are having the cutoff of 70 to 80 percent. Coming on to the second case. If you are a reserved or unreserved category student, if you are a reserved category student, then you have a slightly upper hand because your passing percentage would be somewhere 6 to 8 percent lower than the general category students. If general category student in a particular subject clears net at 54 percent, then you might clear net in the same subject somewhere around 47 to 48 percent. Okay, and the third category is net or GRF. The cutoff of GRF is 5 to 6 percent higher than the cutoff of net for almost all the subjects. So, after you have decided what would be the possible cutoff for your subject in this uh, UGC net exam, it's time to start preparing for it in a very very smart manner it's not just the hard work it's actually the smart work which can help you qualify net i have made some really amazing videos on this topic on how to solve mcqs very smartly to get higher marks the link of all those videos are there in the i button so you can just press that i button to find all those videos also i would be coming up with some amazing videos on how to prepare smartly for the upcoming net exam and specifically how you should be preparing for paper one in such a less uh, amount of time so if you want to prepare for paper one in a very smart manner and if you are facing challenges in the preparation do write us in the comment section below and we are definitely going to make videos addressing your specific problems also don't forget to subscribe to this channel because you will be notified about all the upcoming videos for free and also like and share this video with all the net aspirants who are actually worried about the cutoff and who are actually eager to qualify this exam. Let them know the right strategy and only then they can prepare for this exam smartly. So we are going to meet very soon in the next video lecture. Till the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpatakarva.com.